Highlands update. This is something more than environment that we've been getting so far <laughs> in this game. Essentially what I'm mostly curious about is the warm-up situation because I don't need to be a fitness expert to know that this is something pretty important in every sport or every physical activity. Not only to prepare your body to do the activity, but it's just healthy to not starting from the top instantly whatever you're doing. I wonder how it will be integrated into the sessions. Like does each one has a different one? Is it outside of the range of the exercise? And besides that classically we have a new environment that we'll see the quality of. But it's always good to see this application progressing cause it is one of those that's absolutely worth the effort, the price or anything. From the new sessions I see three of them being included in the new environment so I'm locked to that and they're fairly long so I'm kind of like stuck with the lightest intensity. For the warm-up scenario we have this thing here to toggle and it's automatic for every single session. Okay. There are so many different environments. I feel like I've got a favorite, but I wonder what yours is. Wait, just fastly. Something was going on with her avatar, like it was going into the ground. Or like the perception was very weird, like it didn't seem real, just like any other exercise there, but... <laughs> they added butterflies to the... Well, seemingly very much 3D environment, like I can see the distance between those pillars and the depth, which is very interesting. Now I kind of realize they overlay a high quality 360 photo with like weather and stuff, and then not necessarily create, but I don't know how to explain it. Because those textures seem to be made, but it's still like a layer of an environment. I don't know, I'm not the developer. But it's very smart and effective, so <laughs> kudos to that. Whole lot of love for warming up the body so that we are ready to smack the workout when it's game time. Combat stands left foot forward, start with a simple jab. Hit the center of the target, dropping the shoulders away from the ears, and then one jab, one slip to the right. And repeat. So your feet are planted to the floor. And then you feel that rotation through the core by rolling the front shoulder forward and pulling the back shoulder back. There you go. All right, jab, cross, and then speed it up. Go. Pa, 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 pa. Now slow it down. Load the punch. Turn the hip. Release the heel. Place the feet. Pa, 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 pa. Woo, let's go. Okay. Four little quick punches and then two powerful vertical uppercuts. No power in these though right now. We're just moving through the motion, trying to get some heat in the body. Now just the uppers. That's it, we're gonna lead off the front arm. It's a triple shot, left, right, left. Get those shoulders rolling nicely, bending the knees. All right, we're gonna go hook, hook, slip, slip. Play with the punch. You see, boxing's all about rhythm and timing, yeah, but it's about reading the game. So can you be one step ahead with the rhythm? Let's see. We'll put that to the test. Right foot forward, back half of the warm-up. Now we know what's coming. Let's go searching for targets. How is this a warm-up? Jab and slip. Now, if you're feeling like, oh yeah, no, this feels way better on this side, Rach. That's cool. All of us are dominant on one side, but you know, we can't all just play with one side. We've got to train both sides of the body. Speed up, let it flow, go. Go, go. Yeah, yeah, now slow it down. And speed it up. Engage in warm-up mode. Rolling. Uppercut. Now you'll find if you've had a stressful day, your shoulders are up by your ears, so drop them away. Loose that's it. Loosen up. Loosen up, honey. Just the uppers. Right, left, right. Honey. So you're going to swing in and out. 
Maybe you've got a bit more weight on that front foot. Good. Nice pull into the shoulder back, by the way. All right, hook, hook, slip, slip. A little Sugar Ray sequence here. Not Sugar Ray Leonard, Sugar Ray Siffle. Think we're done? Yeah, we are warm and ready to go. Boom. I mean, this is like a normal workout to me. Maybe it depends on the intensity. We'll see in the others. There is some serious leg training happening in this workout. I can't wait to see it. Well, don't worry, it's here. Get ready. Big squat. Knees out. Toes out. Drive up. Do it again. Big deep breaths. We're going down. But we're not going to let ourselves down. We're going to fight the resistance. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Big breath. Drive up. Let's go. Left jab. Right jab. Left jab. Ooh, some serious beats in here. <laughs> Bit trancy, eh? Left uppercut. Right uppercut. So remember, with the uppercuts, we roll the shoulders forwards and back. And with the jabs, we're going to go left, right. And we're going to bring the shoulders forwards. And then the uppercuts, shoulders forwards and back. A little bit of rotation to bring that core activation. Well done. You've got this. Now jab. Left, right. Left, right. Bit of a combo, a little one-two action. Bit of confidence builder, nice. Hit the center of the target, roll the knuckle over. Soft elbow, here comes the wall. Get down, knees out, toes out. Oh, it's a big one. <laughs> Breathe, hold on, hold on, hold on. Come up, come up, come up. Good, good, nice. All right, let's change the stance. Let's give ourselves a fighting chance. Left foot forward. Strong foundation, hands up, hands up, brace the core. Left jab, right cross, power long into that target. Imagine smashing through that target. Big circles, big points. Turn the core, release the heel, right uppercut. So the uppercut off the back arm. Notice how the hip has to drive from the back to the front of the room. There's some big power, big points. I see a wall, do you? Get down, wide stance. Left sky punch, right slip, right uppercut. We're setting you up for a combo. Get down, drive up, booyah! We're gonna pick up the tempo. It's not so fast, but it's fast enough. Down up. Now slip right, uppercut, and do that uppercut again. So two and two. You know what to do? Find that rhythm. So we're working on rhythm and timing. Leg work. When you move your legs, there's a big cardio response. They're a big muscle group. So really are getting into that heart rate training now. Finding that target, locking on. Nice work. Let's do some more. Two punches. Now we're going to hit one uppercut and one cross. Here comes the cross. Boom. Through the middle. Now jab, cross. One, two. Back to the one, two. Bit looser. Bit more core rotation. Bit more power, baby. Pow, pow. Pew, pew. Flurry time. Get down. Hold on. I think Dan's coming through to carry you home. Slowly stand up. Shake your legs. Wow. We've got to do everything on the right-hand side. Okay. Nice deep breaths. You've got this. I know you're still smiling. Put your boxing guard up. Power right jab. Left cross. Now lean into the strike and keep your chin tucked in. Beautiful. Transfer the weight. Forward and back. I love that. Right, <laughs> cut off the back arm. We're just maintaining this back arm power. Anything off the back arm is all based on power. Anything off the front arm is speed. They're the two training tips for you for this track. Now we're squatting down, right sky punch, beautiful, slip to your left, power, left uppercut. Now pace, down and up, down and up, slip, power, beautiful, you can feel it in the rhythm. 
Now use your breath, so exhale as you strike. Keep looking at these targets. And as you get down, you've got to get the shoulders out of the way. You know you've got to take the hips down so the butt's in line with the back of the knee. Look above your head. Boom, double the punch. Awesome. Uppercut. Now here comes a power cross. Straight line. Every time you hit the targets, whether above your head, whether it's from the back arm or the front arm, it doesn't matter. Let's hit the front, the center, every single time. The middle of the target, so they absolutely explode. We're going to bring pace to finish. Here he comes. Let's go. Pace, 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 pace. Power shot. Beautiful. Good work. Thank you. Uh, so far, I really like the music. It's very like OG type of techno Tesco, but it's pretty good. I love this one. It's basic, it's full body, it's got some great energy to it, and you can master your strike. So, jabs left and right, easy left, easy right, hit the center of the target. See? Basic. Now, uppercuts left and right. Elbow stays close to your rib cage, roll the shoulders and rotate inwards to the strike. Now let's hook left and hook on your right. Do that again. Hook on your left, hook on your right. Let's do it from the top. Let's add some pace. Let's go. Left, right, left, right, uppercut. Awesome. Hook and hold. Hook and hold. Yes, do it again. Now if you want to add a little bit more power, a little bit more speed, go for it. We've got a brand new strike. Grab pull for left knee. So you grab the target, put it down, hit the knee. Do the same thing on the right side. Takes a few reps to get it, that's all good. Ultimately, you want to grab the target, pull your hands down past the line of the thigh as the knee comes up, and oh yeah, smack that target. Grab pull, lean back, and then gently brace your abdominals and breathe out. That's going to protect the muscles of the lower back. It's going to allow you to balance, and it's going to allow you to be able to strike this knee feeling pretty good. Pace, easy jabs. Uppers, let's hit a hook, hold it. Now right side, let's go back to the grab pull knee. Awesome. Now if you've already mastered these knees, you can hit it as hard as you want, that's all good. Keep it coming, we're just chipping away. Beautiful. Turn the hip and heel on the hook. All right, now focus this knee, you've got it. One more, come on. Very, very cool. What have you got, Rach? All right, slip right, now slip left. So this slip is a boxing evasive move where you start to learn how to roll your shoulders forwards and back. This is core training. It's like standing abs. Oh, yep, are you buying it? We in? Okay, let's do a few more. Get agile. Let's go right, left, and squat down. Little sweet little combo. Think about dancing your shoulders side to side. Crunching the ribs towards the hips, bending the knees nice and soft, and then knees out, toes out, chest up, sky punch. Little surprise punch for you. Surprise, surprise. Double punch. Now you can use your legs out of the squat to drive and oh yeah, punch through the ceiling. Breathe out. Yes. Squat down. We're on the last minute. All right, jab, left, right. How good did that feel? Get cruisy, get confident, enjoy this moment. Feels good. You're getting your workout done today, folks. Sweating, punching, driving, handing over to Mr. Dan the Man. All right, let's bring it home. Hit it. Uppers. Let's do that little hook and hold. Get ready. Grab pull strike for knee. Take your time and look at that secondary target. Watch the tail. Beautiful. Let's do it again. You might be on cruise control. You might be having a little party by yourself. I know you're smiling. I know you're into the rhythm of the song. Loving it. Awesome. Thank you so much for working out with us today. Hit the target. Left jab. You ready? And nailed it. I feel good so far. Like, this might become my favorite session so far. I love how they are very informational like i don't know why but i think they give more Whoa, okay it's workout time people we're gonna start in combat stands left foot forward straight left jab straight right cross 
That's your left and your right. Okay, so your big knuckle rolls in towards the center line. And now you're gonna squat down. Hold, 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 stand up. Do it again. So that squat, it's on the 45 degrees. So you're gonna press your knees out. Sink the butt down towards the ground. Push through the heels as you drive up. Let's go, jab, cross, jab, and squat. Little triple shot for the money, honey. Left, right, left. So we're working on a flow pattern, making those punches link up. Okay, T-punch, double punch, and then a triple sky punch. Left, right, left. That's us. Out, forward, and then up above your head. So use the little fingers and the biceps and triceps to accelerate and break on the T-punch and the sky punch. Nice. All right. Put your right leg forward. That's right. You got me now. Easy jab and easy cross. Flow state. Rock and roll. Very nice. Just feel the rhythm. Feel the beat. Now, pace. Drop down squat. Stand up. Do that again. And as you squat down, can you lift your chest? Can you brace your abs? Beautiful. Very cool. All right. I think we can do a bit of a gear change. Triple your money. Go right, left, right. Get down, stand up. And remember, this squat, as the wall comes, you're on a 45 degree. And you know what? If you're on a 44 degree, it doesn't matter. No one knows. It's all good. All right, pick up the power now. Come on. T-strike. Double chest. Sky. I love that. So stretch chest. Drive. Imagine you're almost like playing basketball, right? Go, chest pass. Woo! Now above the line of the head, that's going to take the heart rate up. Anytime you punch above the line of the shoulders, heart rate goes up. Hey, Rach, what do we got? More heart rate training, Dan. Front stands, feet wide. Uppercut left, right, and then a hook left. Right side. Let's do it the right side. And then go back to the left. We're going to do both sides. Speed it up and add a slip. Pa, pa, hook, slip a stay, come up. Yeah, it feels faster, right? So we're applying the learnings to a more natural combo. This is a typical boxing combo. Three shots and then moving the shoulders. Now just punch. It's going good today. You're using your legs. Driving that power into the hook. Turning the hip. Turning up the points. Look at you going up the leaderboard. Let's go, let's go. Five seconds. Final punch. Upper. Destroy. I just threw off my arm, but... I think there's some top tier stuff. Like it's getting better and better so far with this location. Here it comes. You're going to love it. You're going to start in a left combat stance. We've got some basic combinations. Love the rhythm. We're going to be starting with some slips. To the right, to the left, and then a jab cross hook. Let's go. Slip right, slip left. Now jab cross hook. Repeat that. Go. You don't need to move your feet. Just move your shoulders. You've got to brace your abs. Left, right, left on these punches. Release the hip and heel. All right, we're moving on. Squat down, sky punch. Down and up. Down and up. We're going to be here for a while. You just need to squat down enough so your shoulders get underneath that wall and as you stand up drive the punches high above the head lift your chest brace your abs and as you squat down imagine you're sitting back in a seat so use the muscles of your legs to drive yourself up let's go back to the slips right left and the punches jab cross and hook squat down whoa we put it together I told you we got combos On the jab cross hooks, next time you're going to add as much power as possible. I've got another move coming at you. It's a knee. Grab poor knee for left, grab poor knee for right. Take the shoulders back and brace your abs. That's going to support your lower back. Now reach high, and as the knee comes up, pull your hands really quickly down. That's going to register a big strike. You're going to get more points. You increase power and the heart rate goes up. Slip right, slip left, let's go. Now hit the center of the tiger like I was saying before. Squat down, stand up, sky punch. Yes, grab for left knee. Grab for right knee. You get it. You absolutely get it.
Now hold on. We're going to start to build up a little bit of fatigue. You know why? Because we're training, we're exercising. Whilst you feel like you're in this incredible environment, this virtual reality world, you're still here because you want to train, and I'm guessing you want to have a whole heap of fun. Tag Rage, you're it. <laughs> ah, damn, nobody normally gets me because I'm so fast, but as soon as you got me, I better get to the mahi. Let's do the work. Combat stance, right foot forward. What you got, people? We're going to start with slip left, slip right, and jab cross hook. Go. Right, left, right. So you've done all these combos before. A bit more familiar. Let's get some confidence. Plant your feet, squat, jam, sky punch. Next level, yeah, you said it, and now we're gonna get it. So take your feet wider, and that gives you a little bit of a stronger base to get down. There you go. Narrow squat, you're gonna have to get lower. Wide squat, it's not quite as far. Now drive through the heels and push them into the floor as you pump your hands above your head and smash the sky punch. All right, slip time. It's combos. Left, right, jab, cross, hook. Squat, sky punch. Oh, did you just smash that target big time? Points. Points mean prizes. Well done. Now these knees can be tricky. We're going to go front knee, back knee. Hold the target, wait for the trail, smash it down. Wait, 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 go! Back knee, wait, 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 go! Front knee, yeah! Pull down, drive it. And then slam them down the side of your thighs. And slam them down the side of your thighs! Bring your heel to your glutes! Squeeze your tummy! Combo! Slip it! Punch it! Squat, smash it! Oh, hey, there's a tune. Front knee. Oh, hey, hey, back knee. Ah, oh, yeah, these ones are tricky, eh? But practice is going to give us that confidence. And then with confidence, knowing you can smash it means you will. You got this. Come on. You might miss one, but you'll get the next one. Well done. Now get those shoulders rolling forward and back. Smooth. Legs getting tired? Yeah, that's okay. That's normal. That's what we're doing. That's what we're here for. Putting the work in. Getting the training out. Back knee. Hey, nice work, team. Well done. Where's the blue thingy? <laughs> yeah, perfect score. Yeah, that was, I feel like, my favorite session ever. <laughs> with the intensity, with the different parts, like it's heavy on my legs. Which is good, because that's my strongest part. I mean, tens across the board, maybe nine, because I feel like the last part, the music got repeated for some reason. Like it was too short, but that's just nitpicking at this point. Let's see some completely random session and how the warm up starts. If it's the same, then we'll see, but like I need to see some other stuff. Okay, step into front stance as we engage warm-up mode. Double left jab, double right, left T, right T, outside the thigh, battle rope slam. Okay, this is different. So I wonder if they reworked every single workout or is it randomized like when you select it, but it's not the same, so <laughs> that's that. Honestly, this might be my favorite update of this application. Like, I don't know if the introduction of the warm-ups really changed the game because I feel fantastic. Like, of course, I'm sweating wet and stuff, but like, I feel like I would go into the next one fairly easily. Maybe because I choose the light intensity, but to me, those stats with every update, they get harder and harder or more intense. So. I don't know if it's the consistency or they know users of the application already are familiar with the mechanics and stuff so they kind of push a little bit outside of the... Yeah, like you know what I mean. The environment's really cool, the additional feature... I don't see the menu change that they mentioned but that's not necessarily what I'm looking for anyways. Like I said, this is top tier stuff. There's nothing better than that so far. And I'm very happy to see this growing 
how it should be on the store. 